just a quick shot of our final product. We have watched many assembly videos and noticed something. Most did not have the detail needed to benefit everyone at every skill level. We have made the assembly video you need. Enjoy our detailed assembly video. A tool pouch with tools does come with the bike, but we used our own tools during the assembly and these are the tools that we used. Enjoy. Welcome to Power Sports Distro. Today we're going to go through a very detailed assembly of the Tata DB14, which is a 110cc pit bike or dirt bike. First thing that we're going to start with is opening the box. We grab the utility knife or razor blade. Go ahead and Cut the tape on one end. Cut the tape down the middle. And then we'll cut the tape on the other end. Now that we've opened the box, let's go ahead and take a quick look in it. This is how your DB14 will come. You can see it has a very strong protective frame. The front tire is off to the side, so we're going to be needing to put the tire on. You can see the handlebars are down here, and we're going to need to bolt those down. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got just a little bit of assembly to do. Okay, so the next step is going to be to take off the box. Again, it's just a utility knife, razor blade. And there's our first shot of the side of the bike. You can see how nice it looks, how well packaged it is. It's a very nice bike that Tata is making here, the DB14. And we'll just unwrap the rest of the cardboard. Yeah, you can see this is a very, very nice bike. We don't have very many complaints about it. It's a very nice bike. Okay, we're gonna take a close up look now at the DB14 of what exactly needs to be assembled and what the bike looks like when it comes in the metal cage. If we take a look up close, you can see the handlebars need to be bolted down. We're gonna put them right up here. On the other side, we've got the front tire, which we'll put on here. And you're also gonna notice in the back there's a front fender that will connect up here. Now we're gonna go through each of these processes in detail. So let's go ahead and get going on this now. To ensure there's no damage during shipping, Tata does a very good job of securing the bike within the cage. If you take a look here, you can see there's a rubber twisty tie and there's several around the bike we're going to take a look at right now. But right here there's a twisty tie that was holding the handlebars so it didn't flop around during shipping. Here's another rubber twisty tie to hold on the front tire. Okay. 
And here's one here that's for the foot peg. Very easy to get off. This is the front fender. Just untwist it real quick here. Remove the fender and we'll put it off to the side for now. And over on this side of the bike, we've got another foot peg. And we've got some parts here, but we're going to be using them in just a moment and we'll explain exactly what they're for in just a moment. Thank you for joining us today, and if you do have any questions, please feel free to visit our website www.powersportsdistro.com and shoot us an email and we'll get right back with you on any problems or troubles that you're having. On to the next step is we're going to take off the cage that's protecting the DB14 during shipping, and to do this, We've got four nuts and bolts around the bike, one on each corner. So there's one here, there's one on the back side, there's one here, and again another one on the back side. So those four need to come off. And to do that, we're using a 14 millimeter ratchet socket and an adjustable wrench. So let's go ahead and let's get started on the first one. Let's put our adjustable wrench in there and hold the back. And then our socket will slide right on there. And that's loose enough. I, this one I can Take out my hand now. We will not need these again. We are not going to need these bolts and nuts. So these, these are going to be garbage when we're done. We'll just move on to the next one. Okay, we got it loose enough that I can take it out by hand. There's the nut and bolt. On to the third one. These bikes are pretty nice. I ride one around all the time and they've got they've got a lot of power. They can make it up hills easy, they're fun to jump hit the trails with. They're just an all-in-one fun package. They're pretty cool, especially for the price. Okay, so we got the adjustable wrench on the inside. We got the socket, 14 millimeter. Nothing to it. That one's already loose. Okay, there we go again. We've got the, the nut, the bolt. Put it with the other ones. And then we've got one final one to do. Adjustable wrench on the inside. And then our 14 millimeter socket. Okay, we loosened it enough that we can just undo it with our fingers. Okay, so we got all four off now. Okay, now that we've taken out the 
We've taken out the four bolts and nuts that were holding on the metal frame. We are now going to take the metal frame off. So we're basically, we're going to get in the middle of it and we're going to lift it directly straight up. Be careful that the metal frame doesn't hit the bike. We just, we don't want to scratch it or anything like that. So just very slowly, gently lift it directly up. And we're going to set it to the side as this is now garbage. Thank you for taking the time to watch our Tata DB14 assembly video today. Please visit our website powersportsdistro.com to see our large selection of pit bikes, dirt bikes, ATVs, electric ATVs, go-karts, scooters, electric bicycles, and now even snowmobiles, all including free shipping at the lowest prices around. Let's get back to the assembly. Let's take a quick look at the Tata 14 just to see how good the quality is on this pit bike. It's pretty amazing what they've come up with for this price. It's pretty sweet all the way around. They got pretty much all the bases covered. I mean, where can you find something like this for six, seven hundred dollars? Quite amazing. Very nice machine. Next we're going to work on the front axle which is fastened right to the frame itself so we're going to have to unbolt it and we are going to use those pieces in the future when we put the front tire on. So go, let's go ahead and get started with that. You can see here's the front. We're going to Use a 14 millimeter socket. I'm going to use an adjustable wrench on this side here. Let's go ahead and do it now. So we're ready to begin to take the front axle off. Again, we've got 14 millimeter socket on this side. We've got the adjustable wrench on the other. Keep cranking it. Now we're going to need this large bolt for the axle on the actual bike itself. When we, when we put on the tire, we're going to need these pieces. There's some spacers here and this long bolt nut. We're going to need all this. Okay, so that's all, that's off now. And you might want to get a second person to help you here. What we're going to do next is actually lift the bike up off this metal protective crate and we're going to put it on a stand. A lot of people can use a, a five gallon bucket and put it upside down and put the bike, lift the bike on the bucket we're going to use a bike stand. Let's go ahead and move on to that. So now we're ready to put the bike on a stand. We're going to use our own metal stand that we have here. A five gallon bucket would work just fine. Most people don't have these, which is just fine. You don't need anything this fancy. So after we've unscrewed the axle from the front we're going to be able to lift the bike directly off this metal cage platform right under your stand or your five gallon bucket
and there we go. Now we've got her off the ground. Now we can work on it. We can put on the front tire. We can get everything else assembled and get this baby rocking. Now remember, if you ever have questions, feel free to come to powersportsdistro.com, shoot us an email, give us a call, we'll help you out. And there we go, on the stand. Not too much more to go. We've got to put on the handlebars, the rear brake, and the front tire. Well, let's get to work. Now we're going to put it on the front wheel. We're going to use the same bolt that was used when it was connected to the metal crate during shipping. Came with two spacers that were also connected to the, the cage during shipping. There's one longer than the other. There's a, there's a shorter one and a longer one. Now the shorter one is going to go on the side with the disc brake, and it's going to it's going to it's going to guide right here into that hole. The longer one is going to go on the opposite side of the disc brake, and it's going to slide right in there also. And then here's our our nut that was in that it's in this plastic bag. It's a 17 millimeter nut. It's a plastic bag that, that came inside the box with a variety of these little screws and bolts. So we're gonna first want to line up the disc brake with with the brake pads. Slide it right up in there. Okay, so what's important right now is on this, uh, the side with the disc brake that it lines up with that hole. We'll put the bolt right through. Put it right through the spacer. Right through the wheel itself. Out the other end. There it is. Now, it's a 17 millimeter, so. Use the adjustable wrench on the side with the disc. Hand tighten on this uh, nut. And start cranking them away with the ratchet. Snug it up. There we go. We've got the front tire on, ready to go. Next, we're going to work on the handlebars, but to make it easier for us so we can see the, the bolts and nuts underneath, we're going to take off the number plate. So we're just going to take a large Phillips, comes off real easy. There we go. Now we can see a lot better for putting on the handlebars. Okay, for the handlebars, we've got a 6 millimeter Allen wrench and we've got a 13 millimeter socket ratchet. Now, when you get the bike, there's two on here already and it's kind of just to hold things in place. Pretty much they just screwed up by hand.
if we want to and take them off. You might need someone helping you to do this. It might be kind of like a little balancing act. So we're using the 13 millimeter socket on the nuts. You see the handlebar we put in here. Now we just gotta tighten it up. First, just snug them up some before you really tighten them down. Okay, so we're just finishing up, snugging up the handlebars. Yep. They're good and sturdy now. Now we just gotta take care of the fender, put the number plate back on, and then we've got the uh, rear brake lever that we need to attach real quick. Okay, we grab the number plate, we'll line it up. We've got the Phillips screwdriver. All right, that's good to go. Just finishing up the fender. Put these three screws here. with those Phillips and they came in this bag with the other parts with the bike and remember then the number plate curved under and the one screw is holding not only the fender but is also holding the bottom of that number plate so that's this one here is holding both of them Good deal, we got that uh, straightened away. On to the rear brake and we're just about done. Again, come visit us at powersportsdistro.com. Here's one last item that was in that plastic bag. It's the fuel tank gas cap breather. Just slides right in. There we go. Just about the last thing we need to do is take care of the brake. Right there, it's your rear brake to foot brake. So to do that, we need to take the pin out here. We need to take this pin out, slide off the washer. Go ahead and slide on the rear brake lever. Okay, so we're matching up those back holes. Put that right back through where we just took it out of. Put that pin back in. Put the washer on, pin back through. When working on the DB14 model, you do need to connect the rear brake spring, which is no big deal. It comes in the little plastic bag and just slips over that And here we are with our finished product, the Tata DB14 110cc semi-automatic. It's a pretty sweet machine. Under $1,000 delivered to your house. You can't beat it. Let's check it out up close.
Nice wheels, disc brakes, sweet engine, exhaust, nice shock, awesome rear wheel, disc brake. Take a quick look on the other side. Sweet. Can't beat that deal right there. Powersportsdistro.com. We're ready to start it up now. You can see how easy it will be to start up. All we've done is assemble it. We just put some gasoline in it. And there's a choke lever here that you could turn up if you need to. There's a kill switch that you need to make sure is on. So up is off, down is on. And then you got your flow of gasoline here. You've got on off and then also reserve so just make sure your gas is on and let's get ready to kick this over also you need to make sure this is in neutral which on this model would be all the way up let's get it started please visit us at powersportsdistro.com we've got tons of bikes there pit bikes four wheelers all kinds of goodies now on to starting the bike. We have made no major adjustments to the bike. We simply have put it together and we showed you just now the minor things that you need to do possibly when you need to start it such as the choke and the kill switch. So pop the kickstand up. Should start first second kick or so. That's what we're expecting. Make sure the kill switch is not turned off. Good to go there. Ready to ride. Hit the turn off the, the bike by turning on the kill switch. Ready to go. Thank you for visiting us today. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our assembly video. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us today for the assembly of the Tata DB14 110cc semi-automatic pit bike dirt bike. We appreciate you joining us. Please visit us at powersportsdistro.com and have a great day.